What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Cryptex. So they've been out for a while, but I just never have really looked at them. Uh, I just didn't like the layout, but they have a new version five miner and it feels like nice ash, maybe better. So for a lot of people that have mined in the past, especially on Windows computers, nice hash was one of the easiest mining applications to just install log into and start mining. And then you could just install it onto multiple systems, mine with it, and it would all collect in your account. Super simple. Now there have been other programs and platforms that have popped up, Kudo Miner and stuff, but they just didn't capture that magic that NiceHash had. Unfortunately, NiceHash has kind of gone to the wayside for a lot of US consumers. I have had issues getting KYC'd on NiceHash from day one. Uh, when they made that mandatory, when they moved, um, I don't remember where they moved to, Sweden, for their base of operations, something like that. But um, I, I talked to their support, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, still couldn't get KYC. So I just said, forget it, and I jumped ship. I haven't used NiceHash since. But Cryptex, let me flip it around. Let me give you a basic introduction. And if you, if you used NiceHash before... You'll like this. All right, guys, so it is super simple. All I did is download it and install it. I will have a link down below. If you use it, it is a referral link. I appreciate that. Um, but if you don't want to use that, that's cool too. So once you install it, you're going to be greeted by this screen once you launch the actual application. So you can click working on and off, and then you can turn off individually your graphics card or your... Uh, CPU and if you have multiple graphics cards you can turn those off as well and then look at this it just gives you a simple layout this RX 580 is currently doing four dollars and 16 cents a month on XTM and it will automatically profit switch you to whatever is the most profitable look at that so the Ryzen 7 5700G just switched over to XTM as well and now it's doing 323 so anytime anything pops up in profitability you don't have to switch anything it automatically does now you can go over here to the settings tab for the CPU and you can see what the different ratings and outputs. So my 5700G, I'm using it in the meantime, so it's getting a lot lower hash rate than it would if I wasn't using it, but it shows me what I'm making on each different algorithm. So Zephyr, uh, XMR, XTM, and then Sal, don't know what that one is, but you don't have to keep monitoring these and changing them manually, it does it automatically. Um, same for the RX 580, it keeps track of all these different uh, coins and it will automatically switch to whatever's the most profitable. XTM, Zellish, uh, Ironfish, Raven, Ergo, um, Chlor, I don't know what XNA is, Nexa, Conflux, and uh, Carlson, Carlson Hash, yeah. So um, that is nice as well because sometimes XTM pops up and then it goes right back down and then iron fish was at the top earlier so you end up scooping a little bit from everything and you end up mining at your you know peak efficiency so right now this system is doing seven dollars and 28 cents a day and that's with me still using it um and as you can see i'm still you know browsing uh the internet i'm on youtube um i'm still using this computer now if i wasn't using this computer i imagine it would make more um, and I've considered moving all of my setups because I do have some CPU setups that are on Hive, mining to unminable, over to using Cryptex. So um, yeah, yeah, this is I'm this is good. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Now the more interesting part, and this is where I think they're knocking it out of the park, um, is the payout section. So let's go over to the payouts. And it stores everything that you mine in Bitcoin, and then you can get a payout in any of these currencies. So you can get it in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Lightning, USDT, USDC. So for example, if you wanted Bitcoin Lightning, which is Bitcoin on the Lightning Network, um, you just do a Lightning invoice like before, Bitcoin amount, and then the fee uh, available, oh, there, the fee is 2%, 2% of that one, okay. I think the fee is different on each one. So, okay, yeah, so the fee for USDC is a flat uh, 50 cents. For a regular Bitcoin network, it's probably high. Fee is $2.66 because regular Bitcoin has a high fee. USDT is 50 cents. What about Litecoin? They normally have pretty low fees. 
Um, fee is 0 0.01 Litecoin, 86 cents. Uh, what other? Oh, you can actually get Amazon e gift card, e gift cards, um, Bit Refill, PayPal US. So lots of options to cash out and. I'm most interested in USDC on Solana and honestly a 50 cent fee if I cash that out you know once a week or even once a month that's not bad in my opinion uh, because there for a while NiceHash had zero fees on withdrawals to Coinbase I don't know if they still do because I don't use NiceHash anymore but there uh, when they got rid of that I know the fees were drastically higher than 50 cents uh, and then the minimum amount to withdraw is only a dollar fifty so if you have a couple systems, you could throw Cryptex on it and you could absolutely make some uh, make some coins. So whether you want to get Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Tron, or even just straight up USDC or USDT. So um, I just started and I'm definitely going to be, uh, you know, wrapping back around and showing you guys how it's running. Um, it seems to be running pretty seamlessly while I'm using my computer. Obviously your mileage may vary. I'm using an eight core 16 thread Ryzen 7 5700, which is not a very powerful CPU by today's standards. Um, so if you're using a lower end CPU, your mileage may vary on being able to, you know, still use your, your computer and system. Um, and if you're using a stronger one, then you probably could get more. Now going over to the dashboard here, Connect your computer, ASIC, or any other mining hardware. Something went wrong. Um, so I haven't had any earnings pop up here yet, but we've only been mining for about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let this thing uh, run for a little while and then we'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back guys. It's been a little bit and on the dashboard, it's now showing up. I've earned 13 Satoshis or about a penny and uh, it looks like it updates, I guess, every hour. So every hour you get a block. So it's been about an hour and a half and uh, I just let it run on here. So interesting enough, there's a setting over here in the top right and you can click on CPU mining limit, no load limit. If you click that, it uses every bit of CPU power you have available. If you leave that off, it seems to float in about the 75% range. So you can still use your computer and do things and and that kind of thing. Now, obviously you make less, but if you had a dedicated machine, you could click that no load limit and use 100% of the power. So that is very nice. And then um, I was looking and you can actually connect your Hive rigs. So let's go over to hardware. So if you have dedicated rigs, you can connect them as well too. So right here, I have this one, rig one, that's on Hive. Uh, it's mining and we're doing 2.199 kilohash. And over here in the last 10 minutes, it says 3000 or 3.0. Um, but then over the 24 hour average, which it hasn't been 24 hours yet, it's saying 2.19 kilohash. So this machine's showing up and it's doing pretty much identical to what it was on Unminable for XMR mining. It's showing six cents a day. Um, I'll do a direct comparison uh, here in the future, but uh, it's it's pretty much on par with Unminable. If not, maybe just a little bit better because you have a lot more options for payouts instead of having to pick one option in the beginning and stay with it. So everything mines and you go to your, it goes to your Bitcoin balance on your dashboard. And then when you go to payouts, you pick what, uh, what you want to get paid out in and it just converts that amount of Bitcoin. So your fee can vary depending on your payout. So um, I'm going to do a dedicated how to uh, get Cryptex set up with Hive. Uh, that's going to come out after the dedicated Hive setup video. So if you're interested in those, stay tuned. They'll be coming out over the next couple days. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you're, um, if you're wanting an easy to deploy, you know, application for Windows machines, I think Cryptex is the new nice hash replacement, at least for me. So it's, you know, like right now, $5.98 a month to just let this run while I'm using my computer. It's a no brainer. Now, I wouldn't suggest running this while you're gaming because it will probably make your computer crash. But for normal activities, I have not known it, noticed any drawbacks at all. But anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good one. I do appreciate it. And also, um, it automatically is doing 
uh, overclocking and or underclocking. So if you wanted to overclock with an external tool that's over in the settings and click on external overclocking tool. So it does not apply Cryptex overclocking settings. Do not reset overclocking on exit. Use this if you're using an external overclocking tool. So that's pretty important there as well. Um, yeah, so wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And right now, see earlier it was mining XTM on the CPU. It's mining Zephyr right now. I guess Zephyr is more uh, profitable. Yeah, so XTM dropped down to the bottom and now Zephyr's up at the top. So it automatically changed that over and that is actually really nice. So uh, I have that this Hive rig and it's still on Unmino, or it's still on uh, XMR, which XMR is doing about what, 10, 10% of two bucks would be 20 cents. So it's doing about 20% less than Zephyr right now. So if I could flip that over, I could gain 20% off of six cents, you know, not even, what, little over half a penny might bump me up to seven cents a day on that one machine. Not like it'd be much per day, but you know, just to, goes to show you, goes to show you. So anyway, guys, with that being said, I'm gonna jump off here. I do like the hardware tab also, so it shows all the different machines. But with that being said, yeah, for real, video, video's over. Later, guys. And uh, link down below if you use it. I appreciate it. If not, that's cool too.